Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Boygie here, getting ready to take out the French D371 and Air Arcade. Essentially just try to spade it right now. Got probably four mods left. Run a little 15% booster to hurry things up a bit. Uh, things to know about this plane. So it's 1-0. It's not going to be great. But it does have four machine guns, four 7.5s. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the stealth ammo. It's always the best ammo. Once you get used to it in RRB and, and all that stuff, it tends to always be the best one. So um, that's about it. I mean, other things are going to outmaneuver your I-15s, HE-51s, especially if they know how to use flaps and stuff. But, uh, but all in all, good plane. We should do pretty well in it. Let's take a look. Uh, you can see here gun targeting distance. You should really use 800 every time. It's just something you want to get used to. It's going to make your head-ons a lot easier. You can be hitting guys as uh, as far as a kilometer out. So, all right. First thing we do is climb. 30 degree climb till our wet Peter's out. Now let's take a look at who we're up against. Two squad guys. Decent amount of bombers on their side. So, essentially for this game, we're going to be playing defense. Uh, we're pretty much going to stay on our side of the battlefield here. And we're going to stay away from bombers to begin with because they have back gunners. Tend to screw your plane up. So we're just going to keep an eye out for who their farthest forward guy is. It's down low so that we know we have an energy advantage over them. And we're going to dive on them. It's a bunched up group of four down here, but I'm okay with it because we got plenty of our guys. Make sure nobody's coming after us. It hits. Take out the squad guy early. Don't have flaps, good to know. Packet loss or something there. Alright, checking the radar. We got a bomber in front. We got a few guys coming in behind us. That T371 looks like the one who's coming after us. Let's go give him what he wants. Pretty good fire rate on these guns, too. I like it. Alright, there's something near us. HE51. When I say there's something near us, I'm checking the radar just to see if we're going to get ourselves in trouble or not. I'm good if I could hit him. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to reload. Looks like he's uh, dead at the wheel there, so I'll just catch up to him and get rid of him. Reload in two seconds. Alright, he's down. Reload again. Take a look around. Looks like these guys need to go first. Swordfish is always an easy target. Slow. One front gun. One rear gunner. Alright, B-18's going down. SB-2 to the right. TBD to our left. Looks like that TBD's going left too, so let's go left, try to intercept him. Definitely ahead of us on grounds, but so be it. All right, TBD looking for a head on. Does have a 50 cal, so you got to be careful. Second TB is not doing a head on, he's just strafing. It's good for us. He's down. Alright, so we've cleared out our side of, uh, of the battle, as you can see on the radar, so we are going to have to move over to their side if we want to get stuff done. 
You know, and considering how close we are on grounds and the time it would take to get there, I think the best thing we could do is just hit some grounds, try and win this game. A few more points for us and our teammates. Alright, we did it. Alright, so we didn't die and we had the most kills. So we ended up getting Survivor, which we always love. Ended up with eight air kills. A couple ground targets that I hit at the end. First place on the team. See how we did towards Spade in this thing. Alright, so tier four is done. I don't want to order that one yet. Let's see. Next one three is H758. Well, all right, well, we got engine injection. That's important. I'm going to do compressor just because we can get it now rather than go for engine. And now we'll do engine. All right, that wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.